good day. Uh, this week's faculty best practice clip I'm going to share is with Rachel Marsum. A couple of weeks ago, she shared with us uh, in the uh, in service we had about one of her classes, English 112, that is a standard class, and she has decided to brand it and uh, give it a theme of basically gamification with the game of life. It's a really clever treatment, and for students who come into a class thinking they know what to expect and they're perhaps not looking forward to it, this theme it changes everything just a little bit, giving it a new flavor. And I would just encourage faculty to think about this kind of uh, theme-based uh, course making that is just really exciting. Anyways, so uh, we will begin this sort of in process. Uh, but once again, it's Rachel Marsum with uh, The Game of Life. And so I went to my childhood board game, um, original, you know, from the 80s. And I took it for inspiration and put a story to writing across the disciplines. So I pulled out my board game and I looked at it. My little wheels falling off today. But my first unit is literally ripped from the board game of Stark College. So that's where my students begin in English 112 as they make new friends in their opening forum, move into cram for exams and have a quiz on rhetorical analysis devices and write a term paper. Then we move on to the next unit with the job search. So as I move through the board game, students are exploring what um, they need to know as far as what kind of writing they'll be doing in their eventual field. So in a lot of cases, students go, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that as a nurse, I would be doing so much writing, even though it might seem obvious to us, right? And I also allow the opportunity for night school, one of those pieces of the game where students can change their mind. And I have quite a few students who get to that point in the semester and go, you know what? I actually don't think I want to be a psychologist. I would rather deal with animals and I think I'm going to go the biology route. And so this class really through the gamification gives students a chance to play with their different interests and fields and even think about real life goals and planning and management. They've got to think about what kind of house they want and will the salary requirements of their specific field even go with their goal of the English tutor and things like that. Um, students constantly remind me that my life cards do not match Asheville's economy. That's okay too. <laughs> that means they're thinking. So um, I've got the start college, job search, night school, buy a house, choice, time to pay, retire, and students are able to move through the story of their English experience um, in a very different way uh, compared to the way I've been teaching in class before. Uh, if y'all are ever interested in talking about gamification, I'm happy to brainstorm. I have so many ideas for other classes, but they stick me with English. So. Hey Rachel, what, um, if you don't mind, a quick question. Uh, what artifacts do you make, or, or is it just uh, it, it's the it's the idea of a game that you're interacting with. Is there or is there stuff that you're giving them that's gamey? Well, they're having moments where they have to pick between the different cards. Um, okay. I have the previous semesters where I've hidden little Easter eggs in the form of life tiles or extra credit type points, but that didn't seem to be so successful, so I streamlined that. And I do have the graphics at the top of each unit to kind of theme things. Um, even for the Get Married unit, I've got a nice diverse set of cars, including one car that was apparently in a wreck, you know, kind of showing you those little life obstacles.